let's now have the statement of the problem. How are you going to formulate the statement of the problem? Under the statement of the problem, there are two major parts. One is the general problem, and the other one is the specific problem. So, meaning, your subtitle, is statement of the problem, is composed of the first paragraph, which will comprise the statement of the general problem. Your general problem in your is just a restatement of the research objective. You used to remember the last element of introduction. And what is the last element of introduction? What is the overall research objective? No. And purpose. So what you have written in your introduction in the last two paragraphs will just be restated as your general problem. In this time, you must be so specific in the formulation of your research, general research objective. No. So we have examples of general problem. The first one is no. The overall objective of this study is to assess the interpersonal interpersonal competences of managers, their relationship to the business school effectiveness in Tacloban City for the year 2015. The result will be used as a basis for the formulation of an intervention program. So what are some elements of this statement of the general problem? And again, so we have the major variables. In this case, you have the interpersonal, interpersonal competencies. Yan ang major variables. What are other variables? We have the business school effectiveness. So in this case, there are three major variables. You have intrapersonal, interpersonal, and business school effectiveness. Ano pa yung laman? Another important element of the statement of the problem in general is the, your main task, to assess. What are you going to assess? To assess the relationship of the three variables. What are other elements? The setting, where you're going to do your research, and the year, that is the inclusivity of the time where you're going to do your research and then the output. Siya, besides assessing the relationship of interpersonal, interpersonal and business school effectiveness, he is going also to formulate an intervention program, meaning this is not a basic research but a developmental research. Another example, the general problem of this study is how do the skills of the hotel managers, folks and crews impact the satisfaction levels of the guests in La Narica Hotel for the year 2015 to 2017. And so in this case, what's the difference? This is formulated in declarative sentence. This is formulated with an interrogative sentence or a question. So, but in the question, this is a general question, the major variables such as skills, and satisfaction levels are present. Then we have the place, hotel, uh, Lareka Hotel. Then you have the time, duration. And then you have also the main task. I mean, main task niya, the impact that will be created by the skills of the managers, cooks and crews to the satisfaction level. So, kukunin niya, he is going to measure the impact. So the participants are of two types. Meron tayong hotel managers, cooks and crews, and then the guests of La Rica Hotel. Another example, the researcher main research objective is to determine the significant factors for business productivity and Eastern Visayas after the devastation degree of Typhoon Haiyan for the fiscal year 2015. Again, there are variables. What are variables? Factors for business productivity and devastation degree. Then we have the place, Eastern Visayas. Then you have the uh, time duration. And then what are you? What is the main task? Determining the significant. No, to determine. 
Now, the general objective cannot be answered at once unless you're going to specify the problem. Ito ay general, so it is difficult to answer the general unless you're going to make the specific problem. Now, to specify the problem, this is how you're going to formulate the general problem and then the statement of the specific problem. Guides in the formulation of the specific problem. They must be in the question form. They must define what? The population and the sample of the study, the participants or the respondents. Then you must also identify the variables being studied. Now, in research, or even not only in research, there are two types of questions. Now, we have non-researchable questions, which is answerable by yes or no. Examples, should all hoteliers be present daily to check their employees? Should the colleges offering accountancy majors force their graduates to have a mandatory review before taking the licensure exam? Are all graduates professors competent? Do supervisors and superintendents perform better in their managerial tasks and functions? So these are examples of non-researchable. Non-researchable questions are answerable by yes or no. The non-researchable questions must not be used in the formulation of a specific problem. Hindi siya ginagami. What you're going to use is the researchable questions. What are researchable questions? These are researchable questions of value, opinions, or policy ways to accumulate data. Questions that can give you the data. Not only the data is not expressed by a yes or by a no, but data meaning you can count it by with the numbers. Then what are researchable questions? Researchable questions are basic forms with us, that can start with a what, with a why, and how. So, what question, why questions, or how questions are researchable questions. Now, besides that, so not researchable, don't make a question out of that to be your specific questions. But a specific question in research must be starting with a what, with a why, or with a how. Now, in research, this is the most important thing the researcher must learn. You must know the type of questions. When I say type of research questions, the questions in research I earn in hierarchy. Ibig sabihin, one question can be lower than the other question. If a question is lower, it is 